Okay, so I couldn't make this shit up if I tried. So yesterday, because now it's after midnight, I was in Walmart. You know, I live in Walmart. That's where I am every Saturday. And I didn't feel like vlogging even though I took my camera with me. But I ran into somebody that I went to high school with. And I only see him maybe once or twice a year. Because apparently he doesn't still live in the same city. Which I didn't know that. He lives in a different city now. But he's home for Mother's Day. So long story short. We exchange numbers. And I've kind of always had a little thing for him. But we were never anything more than friends. Nothing ever happened between us. We may flirt a little bit. But nothing ever happened. We were just friends. So I don't know. Something came over me. A few hours ago and I texted him and told him how apparently he doesn't really feel the same way but he's obsessed with my tits <laughs> and for the last few hours we've been texting back and forth and he has basically been begging for me to send him pictures of my tits and asking me can he suck my tits and of course, I said no. I've been celibate for almost 11 years. It'll be 11 years in either July or September of this year. I know, oh my God, I'm celibate. Yes, I am. Unless you plan on putting a ring on this finger and being my forever, you're not getting nothing sexual from me. So, of course, I shot that down. And it just blew my mind that number one, he has known me for so long and he could even come at me like that and make me feel like a piece of He doesn't respect me enough to just say I'm not interested. He could have came at me in a better way and when I've never given him a reason to even approach me sexually. So for him to feel like because I was just being honest with how I feel and letting him know I've always had a little thing for him, that he could come at me with the sexual stuff and begging for my tits and all this and that like I've never come at you like that so I don't know what makes you think you can talk to me like that and I just would think that we've been friends for so long you would have more respect for me than that apparently not but he's a really good looking guy he's always been fine as hell and the ugliest person in the world can get dick or pussy or tits or whatever the case may be so it's just so crazy to me that he feels the need to beg for something that anybody can get. Like, oh, well, I'm home. He said our city. I'm not going to say that. So what do you expect as if there aren't nice looking women here when there are? But in the day, he's so obsessed with tits and he needs tits. Then you should have got you some tits before you came here. Hell, you should have bought a bitch with you. So you could have had some tits here since there are no no nice looking women here apparently but i just really think at the end of the day he just needs some pussy which is again crazy to me because sex is the easiest thing in the world to get so it just makes no sense to me but it's hilarious to me i've had big boobs for almost 22 years since i was in the third grade and i've never in all that time had a guy beg for my tits it's hilarious like i've been sitting here laughing for the last hour texting him it's so ridiculous and so immature that it's hilarious like you either laugh or get pissed off so i'm choosing to laugh but i just don't understand why anybody would feel the need to beg for anything sexual from anybody and like i said i've been celibate almost 11 years and i'm not begging for shit what do i need to beg for if i wanted some dick i can just go get it it's not hard to get and it's just not that serious there's no need to fucking beg for something that you can walk down the fucking street and get anybody man woman it doesn't matter prostitute doesn't matter anybody can get it sex is easy to get i mean it's just crazy to me <laughs> and it's like he rarely sees me and when you see me this is how you act this has definitely put a bad taste in my mouth about him he's still fine as hell and I'm probably always going to still have a little thing for him, but our friendship is definitely going to be different. And like I told him, if he does ever see me in public, he just, one of us, we need to turn and go the other way. Because I can't even talk to him in person now, feeling like when he sees me, he sees a pair of tits. 
Like I'm a piece of meat to him. Um, I told him I'm still cool to text and talk on the phone, but for right now, as far as seeing him in public, I just rather not because I feel a little disrespected and like I'm a piece of meat for him. Like that's what he sees. And I don't need no man that looks at me that way. And like I told him, if there was a guy that treated his daughter how he treated me tonight, he wouldn't like it. And he has two daughters, and he wouldn't like it. And I'm somebody's daughter. And again, I've never given him a reason to ever think that he could approach me that way. And all I did was just tell him how I felt about him. And I didn't say not one sexual thing. I could not make this shit up if I tried. I've never had a guy <laughs> that literally just is begging for my tits. Like, what? But I just wanted to do a quick vlog since I didn't do one earlier because I just didn't feel like it. It was a lot going on. I was getting fussed at a lot and I'm still trying to get used to vlogging in public and sometimes I just don't want to do it. So then this happened and I was just texting him. I guess he fell asleep. I don't know. So I just said, I'll make a vlog about it. I'm not gonna say his name, even though he doesn't know anything about my vlog, but I'm just not gonna do that. But I just thought this would be a funny story because it is fucking crazy. There's no part of any man that I would beg for. For what? If I want dick, I'm gonna go get some dick. It's, it's, it's simple. I don't know. It's crazy to me. And it's like he's never, he's acting like he's never seen a woman with big ass hits. And then he's gonna tell me, oh, well, you're the only woman that I talked to now yesterday that had big tits. Really? And like I told him, he got a dick, that man over there got a dick, that man over there got a dick, whether it's big, small, it doesn't matter. And if you line up 100 men, at least 75 are gonna have big dicks. Like it's not hard to find a big dick, just like it's not hard to find a big pair of tits. I mean, it's just not that fucking serious. And we're too fucking old for that. I'm 34, he's at least 35 or 36, cause he's older than me. He graduated a year before me. You too fucking old to still be acting like this over some fucking tits. Something that is so simple to get. Anyway, if you can't tell, I'm sleepy as hell. I'm gonna finish watching this game. I'm gonna go soak my feet. And I'm gonna relax. And then when the game is over, I'm going to sleep. But I just wanted to <laughs> talk about this because this shit is fucking crazy. This is definitely one of them times where you're just like, I really just could not make this shit up if I tried. Like, is this really happening to me? Never in my life did I think a dude would be begging for my tits and a dude that I've known since high school. It's just fucking crazy. But I'm gonna go. Bye.